Good morning. Today is Thursday, April 14th, 2016. I'm Parker Parsons. Oceanographers have found a huge swarm of crabs in the wrong ocean. We've got details. And I'm Audrey Trouton. Inky the octopus escaped from a New Zealand aquarium. We've got the story. Your CSN News starts now. Don't forget that Diversity Alliance is collecting clothing, canned food, and any items that can be donated to the Valley's Women and Children's Shelter. Drop off any donated items to Mrs. Lindsay's classroom until April 22nd. If you are interested for trying out for the 2016-2017 through 2017 NAMPA Dance Team, tryout packets are now available in the office. Tryouts will be April 19th to 21st from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. There will be a mandatory parent-dancer informational meeting April 19th at 5.30 after tryouts. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Lindsay in room 664. Tryouts for next year's Color Guard will be Wednesday through Friday, April 20th to the 22nd. Wednesday's tryouts will be 2 to 4 in the cafeteria, and Thursday and Friday will be from 3 to 5 in the cafeteria. It's prom time! This year's theme is Monte Carlo, a black tie affair. Our NHS prom is this Saturday, April 16th from 8 o'clock to 11 at Honolulu Farms. Be prepared for a magical night of friends and fun. Tickets will be sold this week. Seniors free and everybody else $30 today, Thursday and Friday. The red carpet prom dress rental service will be open until Tuesday, May 17th. They will, they will be open on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 4 to 6 p.m. The red carpet is located in Nampa at Franklin Roosevelt School. For more information, call 461-7203. The red carpet is a collection of donated new and gently used gown for girls to borrow for prom. The cost is $10, which covers cleaning costs, and you need a valid school ID. Please return dresses within one week of prom. Tryouts for next year's cheerleading team will be taking place May 4th through 6th. Anyone interested in trying out for the cheer team needs to come to an informational meeting on Monday, May 18th in room 130 immediately after school to pick out a tryout packet. If you're unable to make this meeting but still want a tryout packet, please come see Mrs. Fa in room 130. We'll be right back after this. It's flu season once again, but this year you can avoid getting yourself another sick. It's easy if you remember a few simple things. The single most effective way to prevent the spread of flu is to wash your hands for 30 seconds. Maintaining a three foot distance from those who are sick makes it much more difficult for the flu to be spread. If you're running a fever of 100 degrees or more, you're spreading the flu. Stay home. Even if it's not the flu, you're contagious when you have a high fever. If you wash your hands for 30 seconds, stay three feet away from those who are sick, and stay home when you do get sick, you can help everyone stay well this flu season. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make a good one. Visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high is 56 with a low of 38. We're going to look at some thunderstorms. And tomorrow's high is 61 with a low of 39. We're finally going to see that sun again. Back to you, Audrey. Thank you. A red crab swarm caught on video on the ocean floor off of Panama last year has researchers puzzled because it is the farthest south that the species has ever been spotted. The swarm of red crabs was spotted just above the sea floor at the Hannibal Bank Seamount in low oxygen water at a depth of 1,064 to, to 1,263 feet, according to scientists. No one had ever found this species that far south, said Jesus Pineda, a biologist at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. To find a species at extreme of their range and to be so abundant is very unusual. These crabs have been detected before in similar low oxygen conditions. It could be that these low oxygen conditions provide a refuge for this species from predators, Pranita added. An octopus has made a successful dash for freedom from a New Zealand aquarium and is now thought to be roaming free in the Pacific Ocean. Inky the octopus took his chance to escape, though a small gap in his enclosure, at the National Aquarium in the coastal city of Napier. After managing to squeeze his way out, Inky slid a clock slid across the floor and found a 15 centimeter wide drain pipe that luckily for him led to the sea. Aquarium manager Rob Yarrow said the tank's lid was left slightly ajar following maintenance work. He managed to make his way to the one of the drain to the drain holes that go back to the ocean and off he went. Didn't even leave us a message, Yarrow said. Today's SAT word of the day is match, which means to make equal, proportionate, or suitable, to adapt, fit, or suit. You could use it this way. The astrophysicist worried that she would never marry as she had yet to meet a man who could match her intelligence or wit. Thanks for watching, and remember, if the news breaks, we'll, we'll fix, fix it. it. 